Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying this uh, Marabou Leech, it's a very simple fly, absolute fish catcher, um, I'm tying it for carp, um, so there's a few things that I've done to it to make it fish in a certain way, but you can adjust it to suit, it makes a great balanced leech, um, you could fish it just, you know, as a straight streamer as well, a bead head or whatever, it's up to you. But as I say, I'm tying this as a, as a cart version, so I wanted to fish hook point up. And you'll see how I'm waiting it in a minute. So as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel. Get access to the monthly fly tying classes, the members only content, as well as being entered into the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos, like the video, share the video, watch all the way to the end, comment, that all helps the channel to grow. So, I've got my hook in my vise. And it's a Kamazan B200, it's a deep water nymph, it's a really strong hook, really heavy wire. Um, and I've run on some Black Uni in AO. And I've just run a single strand of 0.035 lead wire, straight along the back. Right, that's enough, that the way I'm going to tie the marabou wing in and all that, that it'll turn over. You can use dumbbells if you want it, if you want it heavier, or you can a uh, wee tungsten body or something. Um, but this is fine for what I want it to do. I just covered that with my thread and then I'm ready for my tail. Now, for the tail, I'm going to take some marabou. And for this fly, I'm actually quite happy to use like a feather that's no great, right? Um, it's a blood and it's a bit. It's a bit kind of thin in the, like the individual feather barbs are quite thin. Which is fine and you can even, you know, like run your finger and kind of crush them down a wee bit and they'll get worse the, long, the more you fish them, which actually I think works really well on this fly. Um, and I'm going to, in this case I'm tying it olive and black. Uh, so the tails, the two colours mixed, obviously. Now I like it to be predominantly black, so I'll have more of that than I have olive. And I don't want it just layered like that, so what I do set them on top of each other and then I'll just come in and separate the bunch and then lie it back on top of each other once maybe do it once more for this bunch it depends, sometimes it seems to work really well the first time sometimes it takes a couple and you can sort of twist it and roll it and see how it is and now that's all mixed in together Lengths, I'm not too worried, I'll pinch it back. So, I'm just going to see sort of where the, the best of that marabou is, even though I'm no one like the best of marabou, but the best on this feather or this bunch that I've got. I'll just tie that back, I'll come back to the hook barb. Oops. When I come back, I nearly forgot, I like to sort of push it. Again, this is. What I'm doing, because I want it to fish hook point up, I push it so that it's enveloping the shank when I come off the lead. Then a couple of wraps back. And that's no bad there. Trim away the waist. Now tie in my rib. Which is just black wire. It's just I mean, this is just really for for protection. It's no 
decorative or really like adding to the pattern or anything. Now the dubbing, I mean, you can make this ahead of time, but I actually have run out. So I'm just going to grab some more black marabou and then some more of the olive. Just pinch it off. I'll cut the new bits with the I still have to get bits of skin for the stem and I'm just going to rip them through each, each other see how it looks roll it in my fingers the, the moisture or the oil in your fingers will help sort of calm it down a wee bit that's not bad and then We'll get some Spectra Flash dubbing. Probably about 10%, maybe a wee bit more. But again, up to you. If you want it flashier, make it flashier. I'm going to dub this. And you can dub it fairly heavily because I'm going to brush it. Right? Um, to... These strands of Marabou are really mobile. You know, even they're dubbed, you, when you, br you can brush them out into the pattern and it, it fills it with life and movement. So, we come up most of the way. This might be enough. And you can see you're getting that nice sort of mottled colour rather than just a solid colour and I mean, if you see leeches they're always kind of a mix of tones so I'll grab my rib I'll come up I'm counter ribbing this with the wire that yeah, was like 7 into my 8th there Fold the wire back and tie over it. Then you can just bend and break it away. And I've got my Velcro. And you can, as I say, you can brush it quite severely. And I mean, as I say, you could put a pair of bead chain on that and just fish it like this and it absolutely catches your fish. Um, but I'm going to take, same again, a wee pinch of the, the that olive. That black's just a wee bit too poor. A wee bit of black. Do the same as I did before, just sort of separate the bunches, lay them back in, see how you're sitting, see how it looks. Take my length, well, I'm going to let that be shorter, and I'll pinch it shorter anyway, but um, there's no point in having it by the way long at the back. Tidy up, turn away the waste. Tie back. And then just take the same dubbing. Just that marabou and spectra flash. You could add a bit more for Spectra Flash at the front if you want it, because it really sort of stands out when it's on the head. Any extra, just take it away. Just run my thread through that there to tighten it. And come to the front. 
anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Two whip finishes. Then again with that Velcro on the top. And then you need to obviously decide the length that you want to fly. So I'll take it out of the vise. I, I prefer to do this off out of the vise, but I like to sort of come in, see my length. Two hook lengths, this has got to be the longest point, so just grab that, snip it off. And then obviously that's not very good when a square edge so you can sort of come in and grab a few wee individual fibres and that'll put a nice taper in and you just pinch it to your happy basically. I'm not bad at that, I think that's okay. And then you go, that's this uh, Marabou Leech. It's rough, but it's full of movement, it catches fish, you know, it's just one of the great simple flies. As I say, you know, if you've got to tie half a dozen or a dozen, do all the dubbing first, prepare it all, and then just get them tied up. But, multi-species, I'm using them for carp, um, but bass eat them. You know, trout will eat this as well. And then, and then I still water, I'm running these leeches. So, I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up below. I'll see you for another video. Take lines, guys. Bye.